In this video lesson, we're going to learn how we came about the equation y equals mx plus b, and uh, where that all came from. Notice I have here a coordinate plane without little uh, markings on the side to denote how far um, any units are. But I do have an ordered pair 0, 4 indicating where the line crosses the y-axis. That does tell me what the y-intercept is, um, but we're going to derive the equation instead of just write the equation for this specific line. Um, what we need to note is that the slope here is also 2 thirds. Um, and so I've got a slope of 2 thirds. Let me write that down. And that this triangle should be similar to any other right triangle created with its hypotenuse that lies along this line. Remembering that I had a triangle with a slope of two-thirds uh, from the previous page. Let me try and draw that. Uh, so it had a rise of two and a run of three. And it was a right triangle that lied along this orange line here. Uh, this new triangle that has been drawn um, has its next vertex at xy. Um, that vertex at xy doesn't tell us numerically what the rise and the run are, um, but we can use this information to try and come up with the equation of the line um, by trying to figure out what the rise and the run are. The run is easy to figure out because that is just the distance from here to here, uh, and that distance is x. Um, that's how far over we go from the x-axis to point x in this direction um, before we ascend and go to wherever y is. Um, so that distance x is the run. Um, the distance for the rise is kind of a mystery right now, but I think we can figure this out. Um, the, the amount that we go up from the y axis, the x axis, excuse me, to this point x y is the distance y. We also know that this distance right here uh, is 4, and the distance y is 4 plus whatever the rise amount is. Uh, so what we can do is work backwards and say that this rise amount that should be right here is equal to y minus 4. And that's how much we go up, y being a bigger number than 4. So when we subtract 4, we're still left with some positive value for the rise. So rise over run, which we know from the previous triangle is supposed to be 2 thirds, should be equal to the same rise and run in this similar triangle. Rise again in the similar triangle is y minus 4 over the run, which is x. If we multiply both sides of this equation by x, we will get 2 thirds x equals just the numerator left over y minus 4. And then if we add 4 to both sides, we will get 2 thirds x plus 4 equals y. This can all be rearranged so that the y is on the left side and we get y equals 2 thirds x plus 4, which is the equation for this specific line. Now let's look at this in general so that we don't have specific numbers like 0 and 4 and the slope of 2 thirds. We'll just use general values so that we can generally come up with the slope intercept form of a line with variables only. Now in my picture I have general statements where the y-intercept is found at 0, comma b. We know that the x-coordinate is supposed to be 0 because it's on the y-axis. Um, the slope also is represented with a rise of m and a run of 1. Well, a slope which does equal m, m can be rewritten as m over 1. So any slope could be written as the, what the value of the slope is over 1. For example, uh, 4 over 1. Um, but in this specific example, uh, or this general example, we don't know what the slope is, and so we'll just call it m. This similar triangle has its own rise and its own run, 
Again, the run is easy to figure out because it is just the value of x, because that's how far over we go from the y-axis to the x-coordinate. The, the rise is a little harder to figure out because the x-y pair here, we go up y, but the rise doesn't go up that much. It only goes up the amount y minus b. Again, we've got the amount b here that needs to be subtracted from the distance y that we rose. So the rise in this triangle is y minus b. When we set this up as a ratio of rise to run, we would get y minus b over x. And again, we know that that is supposed to be equal to the, the rise over run in the similar triangle we saw on the previous screen, which was m over 1. If we multiply both sides by x, we get a simplified form which says y minus b is equal to m over 1 times x. I'm going to stop calling this m over 1 and just treat it as m from now on. If we add b to both sides, we get the We've derived the equation y is equal to m times x plus b. And this works for any right triangle that is formed uh, using similar triangles along any line um, as long as their hypotenuses lie along that line. This lesson is most useful um, that goes along with activities that we did about two weeks ago. I should have taught it back then. I apologize for that. And I don't really know how to ask follow-up questions on deriving the equation specifically. Um, so there are no practice problems in tonight's video lesson.